prison over You a queen when I less than I'm a boozy Oh why me, oh why me 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 I don't know why haters be telling me to mind my business When they are telling not minding theirs Shut your mouth and enjoy the tea We all know you're here for it since how are you guys doing? It's your girl. I'm Shongone, aka Miss Fear for Code Pin Back for Entertainment. If it's the first time joining me, almost definitely welcome. Please do subscribe and, of course, hit the bell. I absolutely love it. And do not forget to follow me on Instagram. It's at or I'm Shongwan, okay? Now, my ninjas, today we're going to talk about So Mize and the fact that, you know, he did put out a video which I felt like the message was so important. Sometimes you do need videos like this once she bubble, okay? Now, I do need to give you guys a disclaimer. My mic is acting up because I don't know what the shende is happening. So, if the sound is somehow, I'm really sorry, ninjas. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just put some Mrs. video here and then I'll give my uh, commentary after that. Hello everybody, hello, hello, hello. It's been a long week. And yeah, it's been a good week. Can't complain at all. Now, um, if you're watching this, trust me, this is for you. No, makeup is difficult to take out. But anyway, let me get straight to the point. So as I was taking a bath, um, as I was taking a bath, I started having these thoughts and these feelings of how the world or what the world has become. And the world has become a very tough place to to live in and I'm saying this from a spiritual point of view okay um, we are living in a world where it's about the external the external we are brave we are strong we are doing well we are successful we are happy we are fabulous People are going through the most internally. So, if you're listening right now and you know what I'm talking about, please listen further. Just need two or three minutes more of your time. There is a spiritual war. There is an internal war. We are fighting with ourselves as in individuals. In terms of, are we really, really happy? Are we really, really content? Are we really, really secure? Life now has become about securing the bag. Um, doing better than so and so. Chasing the bag. Chasing the bag. And I'm saying this because I come from a place, I've experienced a place where I was raised by parents that did not have much but had so much joy and brought so much joy to me. I come from a family where we did not have any of these material things but we were happy. And that says a lot about what we have uh, began to lose as people, as human beings. And I want to, to talk to anyone that has these anxieties and these thoughts of how am I going to make it through the next day? How am I going to survive the next day? My future looks scary in a sense that it, it's unstable. I have a job, I have a house, I have water, I have this and that, but I'm still not comfortable. And the, <clears throat> the nice thing about the, the spiritual warfare it does not have any status, it does not have any class, and um, it does not only attack the poor, it does not only attack the rich, it does not only attack the blacks 
or the whites or the Indians or the girls. It is a human thing. And I can tell you right now where I am, I might look like I've got it all together. No, I don't. I do have those moments like now. I, I'm terrified of my future. Um, I have negative energies that want to see me down and I know that. And I constantly have to fight this war. I have people, physical people, that want to see me fall. I have invisible forces that want to see me fall. And I'm sure you can also relate to that. There are people also that are in such a dark place and all they want to do is bring other people in the dark place instead of asking, how can you get me out of that dark place? So we also have to fight that war. So what I want you to do tonight before you sleep, which is what I'm going to do, it's either you pray about it, pray intensely, not a long prayer, but pray intensely for spiritual guidance, for spiritual protection, um, for physical protection, for a clearer future, for a secure future, for a brighter future, for a brighter tomorrow. Pray to get out of this darkness that is robbing you of this moment that is now because tomorrow is never guaranteed. We live on borrowed times. Whether you pray about it, I mean, I'm going to pray about it and then also I'm going to partner about it. I'm going to speak to my ancestors. I'm going to bring my ancestors and say, guide me, protect me, save me. I'm going to pray to God and say, God, there's no one above you. I I'm asking that no one, no one can steal and nothing can steal the joy of the moment, of the now. Let me not worry about tomorrow because tomorrow you've got it all figured out for me. You are my God. You are the God that provides and protects and gives and nourishes and cherishes and let all these forces know who my God is. And that's my prayer for today. And I wish you have a peaceful sleep knowing that there is a God. And God does not need 99% faith. God needs 100% faith that he is your God. So I pray for you. I pray for me. Pray for me. Let's pray for each other. If we are on the same level of thinking, same level of feeling, you'll get me. No negativity, no negativity at all. I wish you a blessed night. I wish you a blessed tomorrow. May your soul find peace while you're still on this earth. Because it's pointless for us to say, may your soul rest in peace. We don't know. We assume and we wish that for you when you're gone. But for now, May your soul, may your soul find peace knowing that there is a God and God is for you. Good night. Now, when I watched this video, you guys, like I just felt it did speak to me. Um, and that's just because sometimes when you're sitting and you're going through stuff, you kind of sometimes think like you're the only one going through stuff or some people are just you know living the best lives and it's not usually like always about that and now i know like someone not living the life um should not give you joy but you know misery loves company but at the same time i feel like it's just normal to understand that you know we are normal people that are living normal lives and once you know that picture that is snapped and in all them fake filters and all them kit 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 we're all just human at the end of the day and so sometimes you know we do need to take a breather and we do need to just you know connect you know to whichever higher power you pray to or believe in 
and everything is going to be okay you guys like legit i just felt like this should just be a message that somebody out there should get on this beautiful lovely monday um and so yeah i love you ninjas please do go ahead and comment down below what you guys think of what so mizzy was saying now i mean that when i first saw this i was like i feel like he's talking from the fact that you guys know the allegations were saying that him and mohale were basically going through a tough time so you know i mean when you're going through something like that that is if it's true as i said it's allegations ah uh, yeah you do tend to think a lot you guys and you do tend to think about a lot of things so i just thought that would be a message that someone out there would appreciate so ninjas you're welcome i love you so much don't forget to thumbs up this video and obviously share and i will see you guys in my next upload bye ninjas